ladies and gentlemen, here's my favorite unidentified flying object, Mr. Jonathan Winters. No, no, Johnny. I know all the folks watching like to go on vacations, and I thought tonight we might talk to six typical Americans and ask them about their vacations, okay? All right, all right. So I'll just ask you some questions, okay. like, like, here's our first uh, uh, vacation here. Now, could you tell us... <laughs> what is it, boy, what is it? Could you tell us your, your name, please? My uh, name's B.B. Bindlestick. I own about 35 or 40 companies, quite a wealthy man. But I've had to watch my partners. They're, of course, they get a hold of your business, they'll steal you blind. Uh, therefore, I only took about a three-day vacation this year. But we, my wife and I, uh, my first wife, wonderful person, we've been married 41 years. Oh. Tiny little woman, but uh, fast on her feet. <laughs> and, uh... What did you see well, in we, we saw days. We saw 17 countries in three days. We were about, uh, okay. we were about 45 minutes in London. For about uh, six minutes in Athens, just walked around, you know, you see one color, you see them all. Then uh, we're in Berlin, we're in Copenhagen for about 12 seconds, uh, just, we just circled there, just circled. There was a heavy fog, and then we were down in Paris, and uh, we went, uh, went to Africa, just up and down, one of the rivers there, I don't know what it was, but I had a wonderful time. Oh. She's a great sport. I uh, put a heavy little harness on her there, and just, she ran out yards in front of me there, and I snapped pictures of her. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, no, that's all right. And now here's our second uh, vacation here. Um, and what is your name, sir? My name's uh, Ludlow Bushmat. I'm from uh, Belgrade. Wood Nash? No, no, Bushmat. Oh, Bushmat. Bushmat yes. people. Our people were uh, English. We was in the Revolution. I mean, uh, a lot of my family, they, uh, they was in... Uh, they put out small arms and things like that. Small arms. <laughs> I mean, uh, not guns, little arms. Little arms. <laughs> you know, in case it were surrender or something like that. Oh. It was an unusual. We was never there, you know, in the Declaration or anything like that, but we was there with, when, it, uh, when we was needed. Oh, did you take any pictures while you were there? We took a lot. No, not during the Revolution. <laughs> they didn't have no cameras then. No, we went, uh, Mrs. and I, we went to Yellowstone National Park. And uh, we took all the kids with us. We put them up on top of the machine. And what was, machine? Well, our machine. We had to, we have a station. Oh, car, you mean? Car, car. Oh, That's machine. Yeah, car. Oh, yeah. Same thing, four wheels and, you know, uh, <laughs> yes, kids and everything. And that's, that's what we called back home anyway. And, and the great thing about putting the kids on top is they just put them right through a wash rack and uh, <laughs> just, you just leave them up there on top. They've got their little wetsuits on, you know. Yeah. But we went to Yellowstone, and uh, one day we was there. We camped right there on the river. It's just beautiful. It's beautiful. We'd oh. bathe in the river, you know, and just rub ourselves full of suds and everything. You know, it's clean. We're clean people. We've got a lot of, a lot of faults. That's one thing we're not as dirty. <laughs> oh, you're clean. Cars, filth. Yeah. <laughs> but at any rate, we went down there, and the, the kids had some candy, and they said, Daddy, Daddy, come to the river. There's a bear here, and we want to get some pictures of the bear. Well, the bear ate the kids. <laughs> but we got some wonderful pictures. Uh, Bobby Jean, they, uh, they ate Bobby Jean first. Big bear. Well, wasn't then your there, wife upset about these kids being she eaten? She was fascinated. <laughs> fascinated. Because we've got a big family. Oh, well, you didn't miss any. Well, the four, we wanted to get rid of them anyway. <laughs> and he just hugged her toward the end. <laughs> he had almost a human expression on his face, just mmm, like this. <laughs> oh, he grabbed her by the end and hugged Weird her? bear, yeah. Oh. But he turned around, there's a key in his back. <laughs> oh, well, he had a little scout hat on him. I don't know what it was. We set fire to him. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, I know. And now, our third vacation here. And I ask, um, what is your name, sir? My name's uh, Carling Crutchlow. <laughs> Carling Crutchlow? Carling Crutchlow. Carl. A lot of guys call me just Lington. Lington rather than Carlington. Carling. Carling is it? Carling. Oh, my brother. My brother is, uh, I forget what they call him. <laughs> well, where, where did you all go for your vacation? Well, my brother and I went. We're, uh, we live together um, in Chicago, and... Uh, 
he said we sat down one night in front of our little table there we have this little table that we made uh, in uh, at night school class uh, it's just full of sequins and uh, and little uh with jelly beans it's kind oh, of yeah. <laughs> my brother and i are 36 but we're we're very close and uh 36 a piece 36 uh, two of us oh <laughs> So uh, he came to me one day and he said, uh, Carling, he said, Let, let's go somewhere this year. We've always just stayed home and listened to the train because <laughs> we, we live right next to the train. And he's fascinated by the choo-choo. Yeah. With so, that stack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he said, Let, let's go somewhere different. So we went to the Panama Canal and uh, we swam through the locks. And... Uh, <laughs> Just the two of us, just doing this. And uh, then he flew away. <laughs> and, <laughs> and now here's our uh, fifth uh, vacation here. And what is your name? My name is Marty Frickert. I'm <laughs> 90, 97 years old. Very, I'm a woman that's in great shape, though. Physically. Oh. Mentally, a little. <laughs> but physically, I'm like a bandit. <laughs> and I'm oh. married to a boy, 23. Nice boy. Oh, good wonderful. boy and fun. <laughs> <laughs> what we did this summer was we just run around the house and repaired it. We tore down some shades and then we ripped the bed to pieces. <laughs> just to be doing something. Oh, sure. Then we took the dog and painted it a lot of colors. <laughs> he's a wild kid, but he's funny. And the dog told on us. So, dog told on us. We all, we taught it a lot of tricks to sit up and to put its tongue out and to jump through the little hoop. But, and then we taught it to talk. He and told somebody about you? The dog told somebody that we'd painted it. Oh, 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 So we just took the dog and... Mm. <laughs> I don't want to offend, you know, people with pets, but what we did to it... <laughs> Put a little... Mm. Dog won't talk no more. Oh, I didn't think it would. And now, uh, our last little auctioneer. And what is your name, sir? My name's Frankie Fisty. Frankie Fisty? Frankie Fisty, I'm 10 years old, Mr. Martin. Oh, have you been on a vacation by yourself? Yeah, I just, I'm the only one in my, in my family. And, uh, You're my, the only one I'm, in your family? I'm the only one. Well, uh, there's my mom and dad, but I'm, I'm, the, I'm, I'm the only child. And uh, they said, where, where do you want to go, Frankie? So I, I have my kitty, and I, I turned to my kitty, and I said, Kitty, where will we go? Well, the kitty just looked at me. And I picked the kitty up and wrapped him in a, a warm Turkish towel and gave him some fish, my goldfish to eat. Because <laughs> I'd had him a couple years. So we went out outside the house and uh, we went out back. And then we went up to the top of uh, Mullard's Hill, which is a big hill in, in back of our house. <laughs> What'd you Just do up me there? And my, me and my kitty. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of boys have dogs, but I have a kitty. <laughs> he's got real long whiskers, and uh, he's fuzzy. <laughs> oh, fuzzy kitty. He's a fuzzy kitty. So we got up there, and we just stood and looked and looked and looked. And then the townspeople, we, we stayed up there all night, and they got worried and started to look for us. So I told the kitty, I said, kitty, the townspeople are looking for us. We better do something. So... <laughs> What I did, I was, I put the kitty down in a hole, a groundhog hole, and hid him in there. <laughs> and then I went down the groundhog hole, and we stayed down, and we lived with those people. <laughs> <laughs> for three or four days. And they were real good to us, the groundhog people. And then they, when, then we all came out together when the ground, when the uh, townspeople found us, the groundhogs, and my kitty and me, and the mayor, the mayor put medals on each of the groundhogs for saving our lives and feeding us dead mice. Well, Jonathan Winters. 